Well, welcome to Papa Bear's Peppers, and I'm Harold. Today, we're going to be reviewing one of my very own F2 chocolate death spirals. I have two of them here, and I mean, just to show you that they're really pretty consistent. I'm pretty happy with what they're doing right now. Uh, on that plant, particularly, they're very stable. Uh, some of my other variants, and it's almost like, I don't know, I guess a trilogy. I've got my standard red death spiral. This one is right now looking a little bit mustardy, and this is on another plant that came out. And then I have my honey death spiral. So pretty orange, but I mean, it's, it's what I consider my honey death spiral. So getting pretty good results. Uh, I'm seeing what I want. Remember, I also might have seen a picture of this big boy. This is a chocolate Borg 9. Folks, this is a very scary pepper. And if you'll see the picture, I put it beside a tennis ball. And it's pretty close. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and take one of my death spirals. I guess we'll take this one. This nice looking death spiral and I'm going to cut it open and if it's got seeds I want them because this is my F2 and I'm trying to grow it out again and get my F3 on it. So I'm pretty happy with what I've been getting so far. I don't know how hot this one's going to be but we're going to find out soon enough. I'll show you. Oh wow. So This one's probably going to take my breath away. When I cut it open, oil literally ran out of the pepper. I am not kidding, folks. The oils ran out of that pepper. I was like, that's why I was licking my finger, because it literally had run out of the pepper. But when I do this, I'm probably going to have to uh, <laughs> hold it over the plate when I show you. That scares me. Now, what am I feeding these? I am feeding them nectar for the gods on one week and then the alternate week I am using Real Growers Recharge, which is like my worm tea, my compost tea. So I've been feeding it alternately all year with those two and then hitting it with some of my Bigfoot Big Roots as well to really boost it up. Let me show you this photo. And I think I'm in for some pain. I better do this over the plate because when I first cut it open, it literally dripped out. Let me see if I can get this up here and show you the inside of this. Look at the oil in there. It's just wicked oil. You see on the plate right, let me see, right here, those glistening drops. That was a capsaicin oil that literally ran out of this pepper. It, it, no kidding, ran out. Here's the other side. You see how wet that thing is. So I have a feeling I'm going to be in for a ride. Uh, got my standbys, my OJ, and my cream. And let me let me make sure. I want to see it because right now I don't see the seeds. I want to see if we got something in here. Sorry, folks, I do want to grow this, so you have to bear with me when I'm trying to get the seeds out of this, if it has any. None on that side. There's some right here. I have a lot of these, so I'm going to be harvesting seeds out of them. But this is my pride and joy, my chocolate F2 death spiral. Now, folks, first and foremost, I have heard people say, well, it's already been created, the chocolate death spiral, that is, and uh, that may be true, but it wasn't created in my greenhouse where this cross occurred. I hadn't ever bought any chocolate death spirals. I had red death spirals, and right beside it, I had chocolate carborugas, and I believe... That's what I got 
this cross width is. So there they are. You can see I didn't disturb it too much. With all the, I literally, I don't know if this thing had the oil on it, it's hard to see it, but when that really surprised me, I've never had a pepper literally drip oil out of it when I cut it open. So that's what we're into here, and uh, we're going to try and chop through this one. Well, I can talk. The, the upfront note was kind of a sweet note. I can feel the heat coming on already. Kind of a fruity. I'm a little surprised. Uh. <sighs> so then <clears throat> wash it down a little. Uh, now the heat is really building. I mean, fast and it's ramping up hard. Ooh. So it's on the side of my tongue. On the sides of my tongue. <clears throat> and I hope that is hot. It's it's really searing heat. Uh, uh, <clears throat> so uh, this is really hot. I don't remember it being this hot last year. Oh. Ooh. So it's moved to the sides in the back. Uh, very, very intense. Uh, so, uh, my ears are ringing, sorry, I don't get ear ring very often, but I do right now, it's like literally taking my breath away. Uh, That's hot. How you gonna lie? It's like taking my breath away. Again, I've never had one where the oil literally dripped out of it. This is what another one looks like. <coughs> the burning is very, it's searing. Usually by now I feel it kind of going down, but it's still there on the sides. And, uh, I don't know where the other, it's hard to explain. The upfront flavor was really good. A fruity almost. A little bit of floral on the back end. Whew. Painful. Uh, 
I'm getting an endorphin rush right now and that's helping me out a lot with this pain. Oh, uh, oh yeah, here it is. Massive. Whew. Massive endorphin rush just hit on me in waves. Uh, it's still stinging. Even the pain has been in like this. It's really wicked. Ugh. Right now I'm in like this. The endorphins are kicking in and, and uh, <clears throat> kind of overriding that searing pain. Oh. Usually, uh, the uh, juice will help. What it doesn't help with, it doesn't help with the pain in the mouth. Uh, but what helps is when you get a massive ride of endorphins and it just right now I'm my head is spinning it still stings nothing went really it, it kind of was on the back of my tongue and on the sides of my tongue oh, but I haven't felt them burn like that in a while I was, I was a legitimate hot. Oh. You can see all the ridges indicative of the death spiral. That color, that sweetness that I tasted, I've only tasted in those chocolate uh, carborugas. But my head's swimming right now. That was a, it was actually a really good tasting chocolate. Uh, the pain was, uh, I haven't been eating a lot, so I'm not gonna lie if that wasn't an eight. And I still do a lot of hots, you know, super hots. I do spicy food a lot. But that, that was right up there, panic mode. I mean, I'm coming down off it now, as I normally do. And uh, let's see, I'm at... In the video, I'm at the 14 minute mark, but holy smokes. Folks, I'm telling you. PB Chocolate Death Spiral F2. Oh, excuse me. That got hot. Red Death Spiral. Do you see the resemblance? Yeah, do you see the resemblance? Uh... This one came out caramelish, orangish, almost a mustardy, beautiful pepper. That's a small one on that plant, and that's a completely different plant. And then over in my peach or my uh, honey death spirals, that's where this one came from. This mustardy one, off of a plant over there in my honey, and then this one off of another honey death spiral. Obviously, whoop. 
obviously it's not a big one but it was ripe so I picked it just so I could show what was a trilogy could possibly be four different types of death spiral that'd be cool to have a mustard one yeah the chocolate one was hot enough this chocolate one has big peppers on it like this uh, I've got three of the chocolate death spiral plants going this one's got a lot of the ripe ones on it Whew. well I ramped down some interesting things going to be coming up uh, again what I feed these plants and I can't say enough about my nectar for the gods I've always used that you folks know that if you've watched my videos you know well and good that I love nectar for the gods my new addition to that or additions is real growers recharge that's my alternate week half a teaspoon per gallon is all it takes and, and it really does well guaranteed to, to up or to increase the health of your plant and then last but not least certainly not least is Bigfoot root boost uh, an amazing product both the recharge and the root boost from Bigfoot microbes uh, both of those will ramp up your uh, mycorrhiza bacteria and your azospirillium so uh, you get both of those in those and it really those two products in your soil feed your plants remember feed your soil your soil will feed your plants and produce awesome peppers like this one the PB chocolate death spiral F2. Whew, it's a smoker, folks. Remember, go down there, hit that subscription button, hit that like button. Tell me what you think. All right, well, this is Harold with Papa Bear's Peppers. Have a great day and keep growing.